already uh, saw it if you've uh, saw uh, my other videos uh, but if uh, not and you are here just uh, for this uh, uh, particular show for the podcast uh, with uh, uh, Serdian Shusha uh, is, is, yeah, I'm, I'm always saying it wrong uh, can you please uh, fix uh, fix uh, my pronunciation Serdian yeah yeah awesome Okay, okay, it's good. Uh, and uh, me, Artific uh, Yaroslav. Uh, you can f- call me just Artific. It's, it's easier for f- well everyone else uh, than Czech people. Uh, so we are f- we are both from Europe, and uh, we are here to talk about uh, the metaverses and architecture uh, in metaverses. Uh, so here, f- as I said, we are in the city center. You can see the f- main f- building of the Somnium space. You can see in the middle uh, me as avatar. Somnium Mall, uh, the arcade hall uh, with bowling that you c- can actually play uh, in VR. Uh, there's the planetarium uh, with a live show, and uh, over there f- you can see f- the convention center. Yeah, and a uh, whole lot of other buildings like robots, galleries, uh, disco, and uh, so on. Uh, also, floating island. Yeah, well, very nice uh, landscape, landscape feature as well. Uh, I'm currently going uh, to take a car, so if, uh, we have a little bit more options in exploring. And in the meantime, uh, I let uh, Sadian uh, tell, uh, tell us a little bit about what he uh, thinks uh, about this uh, design of the uh, city center here in Somnium. Way that we are gonna walk through it, so we're actually gonna take a car. It's very interesting, and we're so we're actually gonna have this real world feel in the metaverse, and see where we get. Yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, if, uh, what what uh, probably just happened is uh, that um, uh, yeah, I see something screwed up here in streaming, and uh, probably people were not able to hear you in the beginning. Uh, so far, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. for, I'm sorry for that. Uh, it's sort of become a rule of all the f- things that I'm doing. Uh, something always breaks, uh, breaks. But no, I see the green lines, so f- uh, it, should, uh, it mm-hmm. should all be fine now. So f- uh, yeah, f- uh, it's, we, we were able to catch it on the beginning, so f- uh, I'm getting uh, better at it. Ooh, um, it's all a work in progress. That is the method of and I'm happy to see where this goes. It's really nice that uh, they put like the shore and the lake. It's a really calming space, and uh, as you see, we actually decided to bring a lot from the real world to the metaverse, which is really interesting to me because it's a whole new opportunity, and uh, we need to get most stuff that we know into it to, for it to feel familiar. So we got this physics and the roads, and there's no traffic yet, but we will see. If there's a lot of traffic and you still can't wait and we get these parcels with what's interesting to me that this there's no special urban plan or building rights or any rules that would uh, limit people to build what they want and what is also very interesting is that we have tech geeks building their own buildings so we can actually see how the world would look if uh, it was built by the people, if everybody could choose what they build and not by architects or urban planners or different different professionals. And as we see, it's pretty interesting. We have floating objects, we have huge walls, there are most of the scale of the objects are really huge, so it's not, there's not a lot of uh, confined space, Every, everything tends to be open, the walls are removed. It has this kind of, I don't know, uh, 
everybody likes to express their ideas and they are not limited by the weather or i don't know burglary or bears lions it depends so everybody wants to show off what they want to build and you see you're now walking into what is a tree house so it's probably everybody's dream to have a very well maintained dream house little well, tree house as they see so it's to, to me it's amazing how the people can use this space and to somehow live the dreams that they have for with the environment that they got so we are usually limited by space by rules by other stuff financials maybe but here you can do any anything and you see somebody wanted a huge tree house and they finally made it so it's amazing for me and while you walk i'm really sad that we actually brought marketing inside of the metaverse <laughs> so we still hu- see these huge billboards and advertising and i think that's like a disease from the 21st century to still like impose the eyes with some advertising and not i don't know not a good content or some kind of conversation but huge imagery okay a bit <laughs> strange physics here for the elevator yeah but yeah. Yeah, elevators. Uh, yeah, I always have bad time uh, with elevators. Uh, no, it seems that I'm somehow stuck in some. Uh, ah, save me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the elevators are uh, a bit dumb, right? So there's no uh, button <laughs> logic. There's just uh, going up and down. Oh, it's I, nice I to see uh, what. <laughs> really. That's kind of, you can see that that one that you were, it's all concrete. It's a bit strange to see like a very heavy concrete elevator, but I'm gra- glad that somebody took a bit. You see the what I was talking a bit earlier, the scale of the objects is huge. So to me as an architect, it tells me that it's true that you have to learn the scale. So how big should the items be and uh, in accordance to how big a human is. So it's pretty nice to see that people tend to want big open spaces. It's a really good thing for me. Yeah, I think uh, like uh, when I build a building, uh, you get this uh, parcel. So you have the space that's uh, like defined. You can't go beyond it. Mm -hmm. And sort of you want to use all the space that you got if you paid for it. So (laughs) you want to use all of it. Yeah, and um, I'm not. If people are familiar, there's a credit system that of how many elements you can use. So uh, this is another limitation that the metaverse here, some in space, actually, uh, I would say, limits you, but actually, like, puts you inside of a limit that should inspire you to do this, to make architecture. It's so it's fun to see that uh, how what people think is important. So. Somebody you see the building that you're running towards actually has all the windows. Although other buildings are very open and don't care about those kind of uh, weather. They like the thing that keeps uh, heat or cold inside of a building. So you can see what's important to the people that are there. I, for me, this one is very corporate. There's obviously some open space happening there and See, there's a lot of doors that, um, oh yeah, a very strange office with the light in the middle. That's a very strange concept, maybe. Yeah, I think it, it's uh, probably meant as uh, some sort of like streaming studio because you got uh, the green mm-hmm. screen there. Uh, so you can you get to actually key that mm-hmm. in, the, in the metaverse, which is quite uh, quite cool. If you think about oh, it. yeah. Because you get to, to have your avatar and you can actually use mm-hmm. uh, services that uh, allows you to scan your avatar uh, or yourself mm-hmm. uh, as the avatar. This is this is one of the simpler ones. Uh, I'm, I don't look like this. I made some tweaks. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's uh, it's Ready Player One for, or Re- Re- Ready Player mm-hmm. Me uh, inspired by Ready Player One designs and it takes your photo and uh, uses some machine learning to uh, like assign a face to you it, it doesn't really uh, like scan it 
in some way which some services do this is like very simplified version but you get to get yourself in some way into the metaverse and then uh, you can do for some like streaming studio and key your background as you would do in like real uh real studio which is quite interesting yeah i saw that uh your sky studio actually has the same software as this one in the off building yeah <laughs> It's a. Uh, it's very interesting. Like we talked before, there's a mall there, and there's an opportunity to sell something. Obviously, so for me, it's very interesting opportunity for different designers to sell either furniture items or types of lamps, or maybe even if we go beyond it, maybe even like uh, concepts of built environment or I don't know statues or something that you could use on your parcel as an NFT. Yeah, this so is, this, this there's a lot of opportunity to build brands. Yeah, this functionality is not there, uh, it's not here yet, uh, but uh, it will come, uh, it will come uh, relatively soon with the implementation of uh, new SDKs uh, for building. So you will be able to uh, make assets uh, for other people to use in the builder, and this is this is one of uh, uh, one of, uh, one studio as well uh, mm -hmm. of, uh, of this uh, of this person, Evnos. Yeah, so. Uh, he can have uh, like uh, uh, be broke into his uh, his building. I hope he will not be angry. Uh, but he can have like <laughs> interviews here, and he can do this uh, uh, streaming over there. And I think he has even like a button uh, to for uh, oh to uh, darken the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So for because this uh, this way, uh, it would uh, it could put uh, like shades there it doesn't mm -hmm. right now but uh, if it would be a lot of contrast i think that it would does that it's very uh, voyeuristic to, to be able to walk into each space without any limitation and yeah. so, <laughs> like invading personal space in a way but uh, the way the community and the metaverse is built i don't think anybody uh, consi considers it a bad thing because you can't break or ruin anything so it's to me it's like a conversation to the people that are around and an invitation actually to go in and walk yeah i think it, yeah, this, very, is, so. this is actually one of the things that uh, is also like missing functionality uh, because um, uh, they plan to add uh, uh, possibility to limit the enter, uh, access uh, to uh, your parcel, so you could have uh, maybe different codes, or you can uh, you can limit it to people that hold certain NFT, so that you can create memberships, or you can do it just for uh, some particular events and so on. But uh, right now the functionality is not here, so uh, we get to enjoy everything and. Uh, yeah, well. but it uh, for me it seems like it's all uh, still in some kind of an exploration yeah. type uh, of phase where you need to show and uh, to look at to see what you can actually do and to get ideas to get inspired. Absolutely. So it's whatever way they choose to imp to move forward is uh, amazing for me because now uh, at the early stage they still allow you to explore everything and to get familiar with everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and I think it will probably for, for, for a relatively long time. Yeah, there might be some uh, parcels that would be uh, restricted, but I think most of the like businesses or ideas are so, sort of uh, uh, works as showroom to show for something, mm -hmm. art, music, uh, um, NFT, uh, different NFT assets like avatars, as you could see for a little bit earlier of uh, the never of uh, avatars that uh, you can buy and you can use uh, as, as this one avatar that i have you can have different ones and you can collect them and so on so far in general uh, i think <laughs> yeah this one is a uh... Pretty strangely designed. It uses a lot of color and a huge TV with this, those four chairs. It's like a huge, very open viewing room. It's nice. This is a obviously yeah. a place where people meet, which uh, for me is amazing. That uh, you can actually design the place that you would meet and, in a way, dictate the content that you have and then initiate the, the conversations. So you can spend time here and it would be like your office shop 
and people would come there to talk to you and you'd have a lot more opportunities than in the real world to showcase what you are actually doing. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. And what do you think about uh, positioning? So uh, already in in the world uh, we can see uh, like quite a lot of uh, uh, places, quite a lot of buildings. It's not uh, so empty mm -hmm. as uh, even a couple of months uh, uh, before. And I think we can see for like uh, that sort of similar buildings or similar use cases mm -hmm. are the sort of. Uh, merging a little bit together and sometimes uh, in the middle of it we can see something that's uh, like really doesn't belong there but the person just uh, uh, is not so easy to uh, like move between uh, between these places and it's not yet established but uh, what do you think about uh, like positioning uh, or creating of these like uh, mini uh, districts or so on in metaverses mm, i'm uh I'm very keen to see how it will develop. With uh, well, there's still a, lo a lot of freedom, so you can build whatever you want. You have your own parcel, and depending on what content you put in, it, it, that will uh, that will bring the people that want to see that there. But maybe in the future there will be different types of district: art design, or cars, or products, or software, or anything else. So for now, uh, it's you can still move pretty freely as I see even with the car even on foot and as we talked before even with the uh, teleports and uh, I can only see this expanding in a good way because there will even if there's a crowd you will still be able to move around and get to the to the types of buildings that you want but it allows people to build whatever they want and then we will see without limitations what they will choose so I my kind of guess is that the people with different interests will be close together and the ones that are there really early will get the center of those kind of community districts. I have a feeling that in the digital world, people always gather around, like the community gathers around a certain theme or interest. So I guess that here in the metaverse, we will have kind of the same. So there will be a famous gallery and people will tend to build around it smaller galleries or like some other types of things connected to it, or maybe the, on the other side there will be, I don't know, concerts, music, different uh, different type of people that will get, gather, but it will always start from the biggest crowd or community. So mm -hmm. I think it will defined by be defined by itself. Right, right. And the, the early adopters, those those ones that uh, uh, bring, uh, that create the communities or to bring in the communities in the beginning, will uh, define sort of these districts. Yeah, and uh, I'm really interested to see, uh, as I've read on Twitter and every day, as they uh, as they say, what happens when the mainstream comes. So, oh, there's your gallery. It was uh, an amazing yeah, exhibition yeah, a couple of nights one. ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm, I really love it as we're here. Yeah, I, I'm really uh, glad that you were inspired by all the paintings that were there and the uh, uh, exhibition that I was was pretty amazing and there was actually a big crowd in the metaverse, which I was really glad to see and I could talk to people. And I think you are getting really good at architecture, at displaying art, at making that own like a stage. I like that you put it very low so you're close to your community i'm not sure if this is uh, because of uh, people can hear you or you want to be closer to the people that actually visit but it's a really nice touch yeah and uh, i like that you make all the art very big <laughs> as you know in the museums there are, there's famous art that's really small like 10 by 10 centimeters and even smaller so I really like the NFT has this huge ego and everybody's like building huge NFT screens in the metaverse. So all the art is bigger than the viewer. <laughs> yeah. It's a really yeah. I, I don't, it's a, I, an, an interesting thing. Yeah, I don't see like many people do it in this like crazy way as I am for uh, I'm for, like this is probably like 10 meters high or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I like how for for example, this uh, this one, uh, uh, the, this red one I'm standing in front of, it feels a little bit like a door to, to another dimension. Mm -hmm. And if you uh, make it like big like this, uh, then uh, and uh, like 
you can see it in a similar size if you put in uh, if you open it on uh, foundation or on OpenSea. But here you get the perspective of the uh, avatar that you are. So if, uh, you get uh, somehow the feeling. Okay, this is really like seven ten meters high, mm-hmm. and I'm entering this another world in another world. And it creates this like interesting, interesting feel. Same as this uh, fridge. Uh, yeah, it's really interesting because uh, even like in the real world art, like in the physical art, it always depends on the place where it is positioned. So you might think Mona Lisa is more important because it's like a big mm, thick glass in Louvre or something like that. But this gives the opportunity for people to change the environment in which they show art. So it could be either either secluded or dark rooms, open rooms, very big, very small. So you can use the same artwork and display it in another way. It gives a lot more opportunity for showcasing and for entering the NFTs that you have. But I must say in the metaverse, a lot of art is bigger than the viewer. So it gives an emphasis on how important it is, I hope. I hope it's not a, a thing of like I, it takes most of the screen just for marketing i hope it's like somebody <laughs> feels it's important and they want to build it really big yeah it would be actually and the coloring interesting to ask the uh, coloring uh, that you feel of, yeah, yeah so. it would it, you know the, the color i would just want to say the coloring that you chose is really uh strong but uh it's still uh it's contemporary, I would say. So if it's a gallery, it's okay. If it's an apartment, I'd say it's a bit too much. But in <laughs> this way, it gives an accent and it has like this very like, mathematical way that it goes. So it uh, has uh, some kind of symmetry and repetition. So I'd say you got all the main elements of architecture right. Ah, cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I don't know anything about architecture. I just uh, yeah thought that... Uh... Uh, it could be cool to do it like this. And uh, yeah, it worked out, I guess. <laughs> it worked out, yeah. Yeah, actually, th- this is like this is a, 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 really su- a, a really simple design. It's quite new for uh, gallery. Uh, and uh, yeah, also for it's like a c- concrete or for just a very simple texture. Uh, but uh, yeah, like one thing... Uh, what I like about it, as owner of that one, <laughs> uh, that the pink one, is that uh, it doesn't have walls, so I get to actually uh, retain my view. Uh, and uh, this person, the same way, get to sort of retain a little bit view to the uh, to the like no, not so much because the pink is uh, quite uh, disturbing. Uh, but uh, yeah, still. <laughs> No, but for me, a gallery, uh, you have different types of exhibitions. So this one, one is really minimal and, and it's art is the everything that you get. But if art is supposed to move borders and give new paradigms, then I want also the place that showcases it to have a statement of its own. So when you built it in pink, it wants me to go in and it tells me that there's something special happening and it takes a stand. So to have some work behind it in it actually is really nice to me to see how the person that actually grabbed attention will keep it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's... it's really nice to see the videos because in the real world it would have to be huge screens where people are uh, not very prone to giving a lot of uh, financials to huge fancy screens. So it's pretty nice to have big uh, movie NFTs. The landscape is uh, pretty flat, so <laughs> it's as where I live in uh, the northern Serbia, and it uh, reminds me of like uh, the Netherlands. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I would want to know why they, why they are no mountains. If maybe that's like a technical thing, it's difficult to build to make buildings that would be the air, the terrain, because I know you have the foundation if you want to uh, level the ground that you are building on. But, you know, uh, the mountains are, all, the slopes are also a limitation that actually gives inspiration to people for how they want to build stuff. Yeah, yeah. But actually, but I, um, 
like even this um, uh, the lake house uh, the pink one uh, that we were in uh, it has a little bit um, uh, terrain over there so you can you can actually see mm -hmm. it because the f first floor is leveled and you can see that there are f these uh, uh, like small hill uh, just interfering mm -hmm. with the f with the design but actually in a kind of nice way so f I put uh, the trees there uh, to make it uh, a little bit more part of the like uh, the the landscape connected uh, to nature yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's actually nice how the the landscape goes inside of the building so you it's kind of very connected the building it itself is very open but in to let the terrain in means that you have allowed the terrain to be part of it so a lot of people use it in regular architecture they allow stuff from nature to go through buildings so it would feel more connected yeah nice yeah but uh, actually if um it can uh, create uh, when when you have a lot of because it's just like a really low uh, profile. Uh, but when I think if you mm -hmm. get uh, like uh, really a lot of uh, elevation uh, in the uh, in the parcel, then on one hand it could be uh, like more difficult, challenging. But at the same time, as you are saying, it could uh, bring some creative uh, designs into the place and yeah most of it is is flat there are uh, like elevations as you can see these these mountains and uh, mm -hmm. yep. forests so uh, they are part you can travel there uh yeah i ditched mm -hmm. the car because it was quite loud <laughs> but uh, so uh, so they are quite far uh but um uh you get to climb on them as well uh but uh, there are no parcels uh, on top of them there are just, uh, mm -hmm. just uh, around so if, uh, yeah, maybe if, uh, a little bit uh, lost opportunity there, but uh, I don't know. There's like five thousand parcels, so if, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know every every single one. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's also interesting. Like five five thousand parcels for a huge city doesn't sound like a lot, yeah. and uh, it gives, but it gives like a huge start. And uh, since it's the metaverse, it can expand in various ways. And, and I'm very interested to see how it will be, as we talked. It might be community-based or rule-based or limitation-based. But uh, like the, it, it's still, it, I can't grasp why uh, we decided that the metaverse has uh, gravity. Why don't you appear in like the middle of, space and then you can float around and the buildings could float around also they could have the same architecture but they would not need a foundation there would need be no entrance from the ground floor because there would be no ground but we need i guess we need those limitations in for for something to feel comfortable and like we know at least a part of it oh the full moon looks amazing <laughs> yeah yeah it's especially with the uh, with the light because uh uh, mm -hmm. the the moon is uh, here quite a long time but uh, uh, new lightning features and uh, uh, weather is just a week old and uh, it mm -hmm. is this uh, like uh, you can see the reflection of the moon uh, on the light and these sort of things so if, uh, you normally don't see it but uh, it creates this immersion which I think is also the point of um, having uh, these limitations that uh, we bring uh, as a perception uh, from our uh, normal world. Where, uh, we... Yeah, but it's, yeah. it's the same thing that we talked, it gives some atmosphere. So I would, I always turn on day when I'm in Somnium, but uh, now that I see the full moon and the light that it makes, it actually makes a pretty good atmosphere since it's night at both my country, it feels more familiar and comfortable than like being in noon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ab absolutely, absolutely. And uh, it's uh, also for, uh, it's even interesting when I uh, create a building and I want to take a screenshot uh, of the building uh, to put it uh, somewhere, mm -hmm. make a tweet, and so on. Uh, then I actually like I come to the world and there's some time and some weather and it may be not exactly what I need for the picture. So I need to wait in the metaverse uh, for the right mm -hmm. uh, day, uh, right light, uh, just just like in mm -hmm. the real world to take the picture that, uh, that I want. 
Yeah, we are now going to your other gallery. I see and we see the huge marketing sign there. Yeah, I'd like to awesome. know <laughs> one, one, no, one note to the neighbor. I said it multiple times here. It's metaverse. You don't need a huge uh, column to support your ad. So if you want to make it, at least make it interesting. It can have, I don't know, maybe jets be below it to seem like they are floating. It's really sad that marketing is still at the advertising phase in metaverse. So really sad that this is the neighbor not very creative yeah yeah and you get you get to actually use the space below right so you can still have the billboard on top of it uh, but uh, below you can have uh, i don't know uh, maybe some gallery or something like that so you can uh, uh, okay so maybe you don't uh, it's not your business uh, but still you can do you can offer artists uh, to show their art because well you have the space so you can use it for something cool yeah, to me, it's really sad not to have uh, creativity in the metaverse. So I hope we, we bring creativity in instead of some regular stuff that we see in the real world. It's supposed to be engaging. So I, it, this one is very static. Oh, my God, are there? Yeah, yeah. Keep, <laughs> keep our distance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Uh, also, uh, you can see a goat as one here and there's uh, one another one somewhere around. Uh, probably hidden or eaten by the bear. I don't know. <laughs> one of it. <laughs> it could be. It depends what option the bear has yeah. in the beta phase. We will see how they expand. Maybe he visits a gallery. Uh, yeah, actually, the the goats uh, uh, sometimes uh, they go even inside, not very far, but uh, like to the porch. Yeah, I, I could uh, I could uh, see them uh, there a couple of times. In the, I'm I wonder like the previous part that you were uh, you were in. It was um, there were more buildings, so we are now walking in a space that has less buildings. Oh, this one is really nice. Somebody spent a lot of credit on glass. And hmm, uh, th th this is one more thing. It's interesting for me. You want a tree inside of your space, but you enclose it in glass where there's no real rain, but pretty nice. <laughs> Maybe it's, to me, it gives a feeling that somebody wants to be secluded a bit, but also wants to show off what he's built. So it's a nice... Uh, limit that it puts there it means like you can still see inside but you have to know that there are some rules or some guidance that or some opportunities in there that you'd have to think about it's really nice and the huge glass panels are always a good thing in the real world so why not take them into the metaverse i'd like to see more options for stairs this is very space consuming the <laughs> ramps yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, also, it's tricky to place it like really exactly, so it uh, it's like pixel perfect because it looks mm -hmm. ugly if you do you do it poorly, especially with uh, with the textures also because uh, you can see I'm doing the same thing. You can see that it's mm -hmm. just like one texture that's. Uh, stretched it's over scaled. a really long um, yeah. uh, and and narrow because that's the, the same texture uh, yeah so yeah i'm doing the same because uh, yeah i just don't have so much time to create the custom texture for each particular piece so it fits nicely but for me it's really interesting that people are still exploring the options of uh, the shapes and of the sizes they can use i guess uh, in the future people will also like uh, when Somnium space gets more visitors, it will be more interesting. So I guess teams will come together to think about the space actually, and they will have uh, like maybe a texture mapper guy that will make perfect ones for each ramp or wall or glass panel. So just to see the opportunities that they are they are there, they still allow a lot to happen. And depending on the time you have and the knowledge that you know of different stuff, you can build amazing stuff even now. And most of the stuff I see is it's really interesting. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm really curious uh, what's going to happen with the belts when they uh, allow using uh, much more complicated uh, or much more complex uh, uh, third-party tools. Currently, it's just very simple for elements, as you can see. Uh, just, uh, mm -hmm. just very simple. Not, uh, uh, not uh, many options, but still, you can uh, build a lot of cool stuff. And then, when you get the uh, option to create. Uh, uh, different buildings or just elements in mm -hmm. uh, tools like Blender and other uh, 3D tools and uh, then use them in the buildings or even sell them so other people uh, will have a wide range of possibilities not just the basic ones but this this gives huge opportunities the stuff you can do even now is pretty complex and you still need a lot of time and knowledge to to go above everybody's everybody obviously like it very much you see even the place that you're walking through now is very designed so it's thought out through there's an entrance there's a this strange ramp that has some kind of floors next right next to it it's really nice what people do even in the beginning yeah, at yes, least, and, uh, as you mentioned, uh, we are. Uh, this is the area that's farther from the city. Still quite close because the world is uh, really quite big, uh, but uh, it's farther from the city. So for not all parcels are actually for, um, like for sale at this moment, uh, and mm -hmm. uh, also even for yeah these are. Uh, but uh, since they are a little bit farther. Uh, I think uh, uh, when someone wants to build something, uh, then either they bought earlier or uh, they are renting the parcels that are like closer to the city, because uh, uh, you get to actually you need to walk there uh, to get there. Yeah, it's very really interesting the the rules that you have to either walk or take a car. It's really interesting. It gives a. You still have to plan it, even though if it's a metaverse, you still need some kind of types of plans. And you see, your, like the stamina is going up and down. You can run, you can ride a car, or drive a car. It's it's a playful, it's gamification. So I really enjoy it to see how it will be used in the future. But every you see, most of the people actually do use these the strong colors, these bright ones. They even light in the night so they want to the all of these projects want to be seen and it's interesting for me to see how people use the elements that they have to invite people in and to like take, take part of their attention yeah and you can see even the the browser is uh lit around with this uh, purple Oh, and here mm -hmm. we can see even the the teleporter. So, if, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a dancing floor, and you have a disco <laughs> here, and uh, yeah, you can see it's uh, like probably animated gifs, and uh, here, yeah, 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 it's it will hold me. <laughs> this glass, it's a little bit scary, uh, and uh, here, uh, uh, I think there will be probably a link to some Twitch. Yeah, 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 uh, DJ mm -hmm. Mister. Uh, so when he's the, he's, he can be streaming uh, uh, on Twitch, and uh, you can have a party here uh, with the sound. You can turn it on, I think, if I click the right button. Make sure you head to the about and you're above the water. So yeah, media platforms. so that's pretty cool as well. <laughs> See you guys soon. Take it easy. Yeah, this is like the dance floor from the dreams. And I'm really get, uh, glad that the opportunity is there to actually be there. And I guess there are events, so you can even get to a party there. And although it is a bit trippy and there's a lot of stuff happening on the dance floor, uh, you can see what we actually wish for at parties. So huge lights, movement on the floor, huge glass panels above the water. All the ideas that I see are pretty amazing. Yeah, very very large scale. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's probably uh, ideal of uh, last note for this uh, first podcast. Is there anything else uh, that you would like to say as uh, as the final thought before uh, we go away and invite people to join us next week? 
uh, no, I'm. Uh, I hope everybody enjoys this our little walk, run, and drive. And uh, next time we visit even more spaces and talk about where they're at and what might happen next. Yeah. So uh, as you see, I took the teleporter to the old town where we were. I can take a car and uh, take it for a drive. And uh, yeah, well, actually I can't because I forgot myself somewhere there and I can have just one. So <laughs> I need to find mine or reset my location. So uh, yeah, I didn't thought that one through. Uh, but anyway, uh, you could see how the teleporters work. You could see a lot of cool buildings uh, and uh, hopefully we will be able uh, to meet with you uh, next week at the same time uh, with, uh, with me sure. and uh, with Sergian. So it was great and see you next time. Goodbye. See you.